G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. Here's my assistant Sam. Hi Sam, how are ya? Good. Good? Sam, I've got a question for you. Sam, what's brown and sticky? Poop! Poop! A stick! What a joke! <laughs> Sam? We're talking poo therapy. It's been a long day for Daddy today, Sam, so do you mind if I sit down on this stool? Sam, have you ever had diarrhea? Have you ever had diarrhea? <laughs> hey? What's, di what's diarrhea? Hey? Sam's had diarrhea. Everybody's had diarrhea. Hey? It's not very nice, is it? Today we're talking poo therapy. Yeah, how you can actually use poo or poop to make you better. The human body is wonderful and amazing. Sometimes you might eat some bad food with some bad bacteria or something. Your body detects the bad bacteria and says, Gotta get it out of here! Quick smart! Your stomach vomits to, to get rid of everything in the stomach, including that bad bacteria. And your lower digestive system evacuates everything to try and get rid of everything out of there as quick as you can. And that's diarrhea. Your stomach and your intestines are full of bacteria. And most of those bacteria are really, really good. They help break down the food. They help produce the vitamins that you need as well. Sometimes though, you can get a bit of an unbalance of these bacteria. Sometimes, some of the bad ones grow more than the good ones. And sometimes, when you take antibiotics, which kill lots of bacteria, well, most of the good bacteria in your stomach and in your digestive system are destroyed. One particularly bad bacteria is Clostridium difficile that can actually take over. And when that repopulates, I mean repopulates, <laughs> it can cause you to have bad diarrhea, chronic diarrhea, for months. Do you know what one of the treatments has been? Well, in your feces, in your poo, in a healthy person's poo, there's actually about 10% by weight good bacteria. One treatment for people who don't have the correct bacteria in their stomach is, well, you've, you've guessed it. You actually get some healthy poop. Sam, you hungry, mate? Do you want some picnic bar? Hey? Eh? Yeah? Do you want some picnic bar? Get some particularly healthy poo or feces or stool samples and you put them in the blender, the liquefied poo. Well, um, I don't really want to say it, but let's just say that it's rather uncomfortable, okay? And that helps repopulate the good bacteria in the unwell patient. Sam, you're making a little bit of a mess. You do realise the studio is not a dump, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes you talk so much, I think you've got verbal diarrhoea. No! <laughs> yeah, bunny, bunny. Doctors have actually discovered that if you take some healthy poop samples and you freeze them, it doesn't actually kill all the bacteria. And so they take this frozen poop, cover it, in it and they make a little tablet out of it and they cover the tablet with this coating that survives the stomach acids and then travels into your small intestine where that covering then breaks down and the, the healthy poo containing all that good bacteria or good microfauna repopulates the bacteria in the unhealthy person and it can cure chronic diarrhea. It's very good. Now, unfortunately, those tablets um, the only covering that they've got at the moment that resists acid is actually like translucent, so th they don't look so good. Because they don't look so good, I thought I might find a list of names that will, you know, help them maybe be a little bit more palatable. We're going to go on a field trip and I've got my good friend and colleague, uh, Mr. Jay Brown, who's going to read out the list of names that I've come across that we could actually name these poo tablets. It's my mate Brownie, the woodwork teacher. Yeah, they call me a technology teacher. But this technology teacher. All right, he's gonna read out, he's gonna read out a list of names for these poo tablets without smiling. All right, right I'll do my best. <laughs> All right. Poo berry pancake. Sweet corn and chicken poop. Dumplings. <laughs> Shit arky mushrooms. <laughs> Kangapoo steak. <laughs> Come on. 
chocolate custard. <laughs> Soft shell crap. <laughs> Fecaled onion. <laughs> Raspberry stoolie. <laughs> Christmas logs. <laughs> Drama poo. <laughs> Cheese and crappers. <laughs> oh my goodness me. <laughs> Did you come up with that list? I didn't. Oh dear. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh. oh dear. That was a good laugh. This has been Jacob and Sam from Make Science Fun. Thanks again for joining us today. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. For a weekly video, please click the Make Science Fun logo below, and I'll be seeing you soon.